Hello my friends, welcome to The Vectorize. My name is Jonathan and I'm here to teach you about how you can create a thumbnail from scratch using Affinity Designer, right? Let's get started. The first step that you need to do it is to create the document. In order to do this, you go here in File, New, and then I'm gonna pick the most standard thumbnail size that is the full AD. This one in this size, all right? Click here, I will just change the DPI to uh, 144 and then click Create. Now I have the first document created. Now the next step it is to write the headline. Of course, this will depend about the topic that you're gonna uh, teach, the topic that you're gonna cover in your video, all right? So first of all, I'm going to open here Affinity Designer, and as this video is gonna be about how to create thumbnails, I'm going just to type here, press T, and then I will pick here Frame Text Tool, and then I will just resize, and I will type how to create thumbnail. And then I will scroll up this PT here, which means that the size of the text and then you can change the font to the identity that you use. One of the most famous one it is the Montserrat. The Montserrat, this one I'm gonna make it in extra bold just like that. A thumbnail, how to create thumbnail. After that you can uh, create let's say the background. To do this you can use a rectangle just to add the background then you can change this color and of course you need to do that accordingly to the identity that you gonna do for your channel also you can change the color of your text and very simple can you see that we have already a very simple and nice result now you can go with the elements <laughs> Now it's time to show you how you can shoot a photo of yourself. To do that, I'm gonna use my mobile phone because let's say that you don't have uh, super cameras, so use what you have. In that case, I'm gonna use my mobile phone and then I'm gonna open here my screen of my mobile phone. I'm gonna use Telegram because I can send the photos to myself and I can edit this before I send it to myself. Here, I will click in this icon below, in the attachment icon, click here in the icon of this camera, and then I will just take a photo of myself. Some devices that I want to give you, try to pick an area that has a clean background because you can have the uh, easiest, easiest way as possible to remove the background. And then you can decide to make a sort of, let's say, an emotion to bring your thumbnail, like surprise, happy, angry. So pick one that matches with your topic. I'm gonna make something nice. After that, well, this is the that I got. I'm gonna just change this to soft in skin. I can make myself a little bit be uh, beautiful, but nothing changes a lot. No worries. I can erase a little bit the, the image. I will not do that. I can make this in brighter, good. I can change uh, some options here, all right? So you have a lot of options to change by using Telegram as well. Of course, you can take a photo of yourself using Instagram if you want to add some filters, whatever you want. Just the case that I just want to bring here, I will send this image to myself right now. Now you can open the Telegram on your computer in order to grab that photo and then bring to Affinity Designer. So in that case, I will just open here, copy this image, copy and then paste right here. Look. So of course it's not ready yet. I will resize and then you can watch my my video that I teach you about how you can remove background. But in that case, I'm gonna do, do this very quickly. Let me show you. I will change to to the pixel persona, I will raster this image, fluid to option, I will click here, use uh, this option just to select the errors, the correct errors, use this brush selection tool and then remove the errors that you don't want. Ctrl 
control X. There we go. I got these results. I will now apply a outline effect, outline effect, and then resize this to 12 and make this as white. There we go. Nice. I will flip this. I can flip, but this depends if you would like more. I can erase this with erase mode. There are some, you know, backgrounds, so you can erase manually just like that. Also, you can make this more vibrant if you want. You can adjust more the exposure. You can go here, exposure in adjustment mode, and then make this a bit brighter, just like that. And then we can go here, hot create thumbnail. Use the words that you consider very relevant to your audience. And also you can add, if you want, some effects. Let me switch to design persona. Look, we have a very simple background here. I'm gonna select the text, right? Layer effects, and then I will add here outer shadow. Apply, apply a little bit and make radius. Reduce a bit the opacity. Very simple tutorial, can you see? You got this result, very nice. You can resize the text if you want, and you can do this, pay attention, right? Very nice, make this bigger, select this area, and then scroll down the, the size of this text. Look how amazing is this? I'm teaching you right now how I, I usually do my thumbnails in a very quick way. And of course, you can add some elements in the background, like some arrows. I'm gonna show you how, how you can do that. To add arrows, it is very easy. You can just use the paint tool and then draw a line. Let me make this bigger by using the stroke panel. Can you see? And then I will go here to end and then I will pick an arrow that matches better with my style. I'm gonna make this in red. But the background, I will change to another color. Let's see here, a different color. I like that, this one most. You can add, if you want, more a darker background. Resize just to see how it is working. Oh, look, change this direction. Arrow is good in order to, let's say, guide the people's eyes. I will bring the, here the pressure and change a little bit just like that. I'll make this perhaps white. I'd rather to use, I'll be honest with you, red because it calls a lot of attention, right? And then I'll select Zera, make it red, and then apply outline. You can do this as well and make this as white. Oh, look. And also, if you want to enhance even more the headline, you can add some, let me add here, a label below of the thumbnail. This enhance even more the information that you want to bring. I've just created a rondo identity, all right? This is not my standard identity that I usually do here on my channel, but here is some of the easiest ways to do thumbnails using Affinity Designer. And now you can export this. Look how nice it is. You can uh, use the artboard and click here, insert artboard, and then you can create as many thumbnails, let's say, to make some tasks. How to create, how to make. You can make some A-B tags, how to make. Uh, thumbnails and also you can change the text if you want oh look this one also is nice also you can change the background uh, very simple way my friend so please if you like it and uh, make sure to subscribe that's it my friend I've show you how you can create thumbnails in a very simplified way so right now you can just export can export this by selecting the artboard, click here export persona, then give it the name of your thumbnail, it can be thumbnail one on export persona, make sure to set this as PNG and then click here to click to export this button, click here and then pick an area that you want to export. There you go. And then you can upload to the YouTube channel. That's it my friend, I will show you a very simplest way to do that uh, very let's say beginner for very beginner so if you want to do that right now this is the best tutorial that you can have to do that okay thank you my friend so much please join the vectorize club if you want to learn much more about my lessons okay take care see you and bye bye